Hey guys, I'm coming to you with a book review today and um, I picked this book because this is the book that actually, um, I've always been a big reader since I was little, um, from about eight years old on and I always read, you know, the young adult teeny bopper books like Sweet Valley High and all that. But there was one book in particular I always wanted to read because my mom read it and I remember hearing her talk about it to her mom and her sister and I remember thinking I've got to read that book and she would always say no it was not appropriate for me to read and then the movie came out and her and a friend of hers went and watched the movie and I was 13 years old and she came home from the movie and she handed me the book and she said you're old enough to read the book and that book is what got me into oddly enough horror suspense fantasy that type of thing because for some stupid reason this book is listed in the horror section now it's listed in the young adult section um, the book I'm talking about is flowers in the attic it has become it has since recently it has become more popular they got new covers and they're putting it flowers in the attic and the, the petals on the wind into one book and uh, look at that cover this poor baby this is like the third copy I've had of this book I've read I read it so much that the poor cover just starts falling off it's just pathetic anyway this is the third copy of that book and you can tell by that I, it's all taped up. I just need a new set of that that whole series. Um, Flowers in the Attic is by V.C. Andrews. Um, from what I know of V.C. Andrews, uh, she wrote under her first name V.C. because being a woman, back in, I believe, the 60s and 70s, you're not going to get published with your first name being Virginia. Obviously a female. So she started writing under BC. Um, then she passed away and they hired a ghostwriter. I no longer read VC Andrews because it's too, um, too, too uh, Harlequin romance in my opinion. Um, and they're all the same as far as I'm concerned. But Flowers in the Attic was awesome. That book threw me into reading everything I could get my hands on. Um, if you're watching this now and you want to read Flowers in the Attic, go away from this video now because there will be spoiler alert. Sorry, my dogs decide they want to play now. Anyway, spoiler alert, I'm going to be revealing some things from the book. Um, as I said, I don't know why it was listed as horror. I could see, uh, maybe young adult now. I mean, there's some things that are in there that are questionable. Not too bad. Um, the basis of the book is a woman and four children. Um, she's married. She's got two, uh, two children, I think they're 14 and 12, and uh, a set of twins that are fairly young, uh, under five, I believe. Um, anyway, her husband gets in a car accident and dies. She has to then, because she has no skills whatsoever, she has to um, beg her parents to take her back in to, uh, so she can win her father's love back and get back in the will so that she can earn, uh, get all his money when he passes away. Um, however, the gist of it is uh, he doesn't know that she has children um, by, her, by her husband doesn't know um 
I don't know how, to, I don't want to really reveal too much. Anyway, in the course of the story, the children are hidden in a room that also has access to the attic. Uh, they are actually, if you watch the movie, the movie is okay. It does not do the book justice because, of course, they have to condense it down into an hour and a half movie. This book goes over, I believe, a period of four years, four or five years. Um, and it goes through the period of time of puberty for the older two children and what that entails. Um, one child ends up dying. And the one person that they fear the most and who dis seems to dislike the children the most, the grandmother is the one who, when you look back on the whole story, is trying to save them by telling them the worst thing for you right now is to be eating sweets because there, there's no access to a dentist. And you don't realize that till after you're through with the book because the, the, the sugar-coated donuts. Um, this book, I gave this book five stars, six stars, seven stars, whatever I could give it, because this is my most favorite book of all time, ever, and I need another copy, um, if you do, if you have never read Flowers in the Attic, it is a, it's a wonderful read, um, once you read this, though, you're gonna have to read the next one, and the next one, and the next one, it is a series of, I believe, five, five books, and the last book is actually a prequel to Flowers in the Attic. I don't know why they wait until I start recording to decide now's a good time to wrestle. They're like children. That's what it is. They're like children. Anyway. Um... Yeah, it, it'll really make you think about your relationships with other people, your relationship with God, um, because there is a, a, a big um, religious aspect to this, because the grandmother is so very, very religious, um, and the, the fact that the mother is willing to go to all extremes. Um, including locking her children in an attic for four years plus in order to get money and what that um, the, what kind of person would do that um, it, it really makes you examine who you are um, I really highly recommend this book 100% recommend it. Um, I think it's a great read no matter what. Uh, summer read, spring read, I don't know. These book reviewers out there, how they do it. I just know it's a good read, period. Um, I like to sit... Uh, this is my question for y'all. When you get a book that you want to just really just immerse yourself in... What is your best way to do it? Like, I like to get a hot cup of coffee or a tea or a hot chocolate. I curl myself up sitting on my feet on the couch, cover my legs up with a good cozy blanket, and I put my earplugs in and I just zone out. What is your setup? When you decide you want to just zone out and focus on a book and just that's that let me know down in the comments um, and I'll put some information about flowers in the attic down in the comments as well and go check it out it's a very good read and let me know what your setup is when you want to zone out and focus on a book all right talk to you later